Hello, everyone. Welcome. I have a couple of cards for you gardening enthusiasts out there, or even plant lovers. I had so much fun making these cards, and the products that I'm going to show you definitely feel the void in my collection. I have nothing like this in my collection until now. This is a new set from Spellbinders. The stamp set is called Around the Garden. It includes a bunch of cute and quirky sentiments. They are on the smaller size, and it kind of surprised me when I got these, but I'm going to show you how to use them on your cards. Next up, I have a die set, and this one is called Plant It Here. This set is so much fun. It has a bunch of different planters and plants and even a garden flamingo. <laughs> and I really love that little rain boot that you can plant different plants in. This third set is called In the Garden, and this one includes the cutest little rake and shovel and garden hat. It even has a birdhouse and lots of fun little elements. I have a lot of gardeners in my family on, on both sides, my side as well as my husband's side. So this is going to be a really fun set to create some cute cards to send out to them. I have all of my cardstock laid out here. These are all from Spellbinders, and I'm going to start my die cutting first. I like to die cut everything before I begin putting my card together. So I'm using some brushed silver, which is kind of a shiny silver, but not like a mirror silver cardstock, to cut out my rake and my shovel. Then I have some terracotta for the pot and yellow for the hat. I'm going to pull in one of the plants from the Plant It Here set and cut out two of these with some of the green. I believe this is rainforest green. The yellow is chamomile. I'm going to use the hearts from the Delicious Decorations die set and cut them out with a little bit of pink sand cardstock. The brown is timber cardstock. So I'll cut them out off camera. And now to add some fun details to my die cuts. For the hat, I pulled out a little bit of a darker yellow Copic marker to add some shading just under the hat band and to the side and at the top of the hat. And then I'll add a little bit on the edges of the hat. And this is just very subtle. The die does emboss lines into it, but they're hard to pick up on the camera, but it's a cute detail to this. For the hat band, I pulled out a pink Copic marker and I'm just going to color on some stripes. It's very simple. There are also embossed lines on this to show you where to glue your hat band onto it. I'll just add a little strip of glue and put this on. Now let's add a little bit of detail to the plants. So I'm using a darker green and just doing little flicks from the base of the plant, uh, leaf to the top. And I'm still allowing the green of the paper to show through, but this just adds a really nice touch of shading, and it's very fast and simple to do. And then after I'm done with the leaves, I'll just come up the side of the stem and add a little bit of shading to that. Without this step, the plant looks a little flat. Next, I'll add the top layer to this bucket. At first I thought this was a terracotta pot, but it is a bucket because it has a little bucket handle for it. I'll add some shading to this bucket as well using an E07 Copic marker. Put a, a little bit of shading under the ledge at the top of this bucket, and then just do some flick marks along both sides. I like to do the flicks going inward so that they get thinner. And then I'll add a little bit of shading just at the very bottom of this. I'm going to set these pieces aside for a few minutes while I work on my main panel or my background panel. I'm using some masking tape to mask off the right side of my card as well as the bottom. I'm just eyeballing this. You could measure it, of course, if you wanted to. But I need to readjust the bottom tape. And then I'm going to pull in some Distress Oxide inks to add a little bit of color to this background. So I have Peeled Paint, which is a very soft, subtle green. And I'll put my darkest color at the very corner and fade out as I go up. 
And then I'm going to add a little bit of spun sugar, which of course is a really pale pink. So it's a very subtle color on this card, but it helps frame my little scene I'm going to be creating very well. So let's peel off the tape. You can see that bright white edge there. I'll put this panel aside for just a minute and build my shovel and rake. It even has the cute little handles to them. I love all of the cute little detail dies that they include in their sets. So let's put another handle on. I'm using this little protective sheet to glue everything together so that I don't ruin my new uh, work mat. It can get really gungy and uh, dirty and it doesn't come off sometimes so I like to protect my work mat. And this little rake die cut piece is so adorable. So very detailed. Now those are ready to go. I have one more piece to glue together and that is the handle to this bucket. I probably should have skipped this part so that it looks more like a terracotta pot because of the colors I chose to cut it out with. I just couldn't resist. It was so cute, the little handle. Okay, let's start building this scene. I'm going to put down the rake first. When I build a scene, I like to make most of my die cuts and pieces overlapping a little bit. It just looks better than having them all separate on the card. It creates a better scene. Okay, so now for the bucket. And I'll put that right over the rake. I'll add a little bit of glue inside this bucket so that I can piece in the brown dirt. Next, I'm going to start adding the plants. And I'm going to make this a really tall plant. The first piece I'm putting on is going to be the piece that is in front. And the second piece I'm just going to tuck behind this first one. But we'll center that in the bucket. And it's going to go right over the handles on the rake and the shovel, but that's okay. I'll add little dabs of glue to the second piece. And then just kind of peel up the first plant and glue it underneath that. Now for the hat, and I wish I had put it so it looks like it's actually sitting on the ground <laughs> next to the uh, pot, but that's all right. It's just floating a little bit there. And now let's stamp out the sentiment. For smaller sentiments like this, I like to tuck them in close to the images on my card. If I were to stamp it, say, up at the top right hand corner, it would look really strange and odd there because it is such a little sentiment. And this one says, love grows here. So I do like to put a, tuck them in really close to the images on my card. In place of gems or sequins, I'm using these heart die cuts. They add a really soft touch to this card, but it, it coordinates really well with the sentiment that says love grows here. I'll add it to a top folding white card base. And here is a close up look at the finished card. You get a little bit of shine too with the shovel and the rake that I cut out with the brushed silver cardstock. But isn't that fun? I just love these die sets and there's so many things you can do with them. Okay, card number two, we're going to make a flamingo card. And I have all of my card stocks and dies ready to go. I'll take them off camera and cut them out. And let's start in with the flamingo. I'm using another pink Copic marker and I'm going to do some soft flick marks at the edge of the flamingo so that my flick marks kind of thin out as they go toward the flamingo's neck. It just looks prettier and feather, more feathery that way. I'll add a little bit of shading to the back of the flamingo's neck and up its head. I was going to add highlights with a white gel pen, but I forgot this step, but that's all right. It still looks really cute. This set has a die to cut out the black tip for its nose, as well as the white piece above the nose. I'll glue those down flat next. 
It's fun to see how this flamingo really comes together after you do the shading and add the die cut pieces that go on top, as well as its legs or the little stick that you can glue onto it so that it stands up in your garden. I'm using an N7 Copic marker to color in its beak. This is the blackest marker I have. I'll have to pick up a black Copic marker sometime. And now for the white piece that goes above its beak. This kind of covers its eye as well. So I'm going to use the garden stick and I'm going to add a little bit of shading to that. It has a nice big oval to add glue to so that you can attach it to your flamingo. I'm going to use an older club kit of the month set from May of 2020. And this little piece here looks just like a garden trellis when you cut it out. So I'm going to cut it out with some white cardstock. And then I will pull out my Fiskars paper trimmer and just cut it down around the edges so that it looks like a little trellis. It's so pretty. And then here it is all ready to go on the card. I'm going to adhere this piece of waterfall cardstock onto a piece of pink sand cardstock. This is such a nice blue cardstock. It's so pretty. I'll use dot liner to attach the trellis. As I did with the first card, I'm going to build a little border or a frame for my scene on the right as well as the bottom of the card. I added Copic marker shading to these plants as well. I'm going to adhere a bunch of these growing up this trellis and I'll just tuck them behind. I had to use my all-in-one tool just to kind of pick up the trellis so that I could tuck them in. I'll add one more plant to the top of this trellis. And then one more at the bottom, just kind of coming off of the trellis. So I'm also going to use a few dies from the April card kit of the month from 2022. This one's called Picket Fences, and it has the prettiest flowers in it. I'm using this really small flower, and I cut them out with a bright pink as well as a soft pale pink. And I'm going to glue these on top of the plants. I have a wire trellis on the front of my house, and on it I have a purple clematis, and I'm so excited because it's starting to have buds on it. And when it blooms, it's just this tall, beautiful mass of purple flowers. I just love to see it bloom. So let's add a little bit of grass to this scene. I'm peeling up the trellis and the plant because I decided to tuck the grass behind it. This is kind of a teal colored cardstock. I believe it's the blue spruce. I wanted it to be a distinct color from the plants that I have growing up the side of the card. And then I can just glue the trellis back in place. The grass die comes from the large die of the month from March of 2021. I use this little piece a lot, but it just makes the perfect sized grass for cards. Next, I'm going to add the fence, and that too came from the April card kit of the month from this year. I added some foam adhesive on the side, and then a little bit of glue so that it matches the height of all of my plants there on the right side of the card. I wanted to pop up the flamingo as well, and I'll tuck this behind the fence. The fence also comes with a die that cuts out wood texture for the planks. So I'm going to glue those in place next. I'll put on the last two here. And it just adds another cute touch to the card. And now for the sentiment. I popped it into my Mini Misty. I'll ink it up using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And again, because of the small size of the sentiment, I tucked it in between the flamingo and the trellis, and it just looks 
perfect there, I think. I wanted a little sparkle on my penguin, so I brought out my glitter pen. For the centers of these flowers, I'm using some really teeny tiny green gems from Spellbinders. And then I can attach this to another white card base. I'm adding the glue to the card base this time so that I don't accidentally smear my sentiment. Versify and Onyx Black ink needs a little bit of time to dry. And here is a close-up of the finished card. Isn't that so much fun? There are so many more cards that I want to create using these really fun gardening sets. I didn't even get to the rain boot or the watering canister yet. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching these two cards come together. Thanks so much for spending some of your time with me today, and I will be back again really soon with another card crafting video. Take care, my crafty friends. Bye.